Do you want to know which property investing strategy is best for you or what to look out for in each of the investing methods? Then don't miss out. Hi, my name is Lionel and welcome back to another episode of Asset Progression with Lionel Leong. Today, you are in luck. In this episode, you will learn how to make money from the comfort of your own house. Property investment remains one of the favorite investment methods for many Singaporeans. But what is it all about? It is about purchasing a property with an intention to either number one, selling it to an interested buyer at a higher price later or number two, leasing it out for consistent passive income. So what are some ways one could make money from properties and what are some of the pitfalls of property investing in Singapore? Let's find out. When it comes to making money from property investments in Singapore, there are generally three methods to choose. Of these, two are active that is required you to be hands-on and engage and require high capital. The remaining method is comparatively much more hands-off and passive and also more affordable. Method 1. Buy and sell, which is known as flipping. This is a short to mid-term investment strategy and requires a high capital outlay. In this common most method, one typically buys a property, maybe make some improvement, then turns around and sell it at a higher price for a profit. The defining characteristic here is speed. If you want to sell your property as soon as possible in order to limit the risk to your capital. However, this method relies on capital appreciation, which is something that you may not always able to control. And you can only sell your property after 3 years of purchase to avoid the seller stamp duty, which is known as the SSD. There are also other pits for to consider, such as making too many improvements and pricing yourself out of the market. Unexpected problems require costly repairs, lack of demand. Method 2, buy and rent. Unlike property flipping, this is a mid to long term investment strategy and lower capital gain. In this method, you are basically moving into a role of the landlord. Your aim is to hold on to the property, rent it out for income. In order to turn a profit, your rental income has to be higher than your mortgage payment plus the cost of any renovation or repairs. The best scenario for this strategy will be this monthly rental is able to cover your monthly installment and maintenance fee and you have some positive cash to your pocket. The situation can improve dramatically once your property is all paid up. At that point, any rental income you collect is your profit. However, depending on how long it takes you to pay up your mortgage, your rent amount may also be affected. Comparing with property flipping, these are the pitfalls to consider. Such as, number one, you may not be able to find the suitable tenants. Number two, your rental margin may be razor thin and easily jeopardized should replacement or repairs become necessary. Lastly, method number three, invest in real if you want to invest in property without having to deal with all the hassle firsthand, you may opt for REITs or named as Real Estate Investment Trust. They work like any unit trust or mutual funds out there. Your money will be put together with other investors and used to invest in properties. Different REITs deal in different types of properties such as residential, office, retail, hospitality or any mix in between. You need to pay a fee for REITs to be manage professionally. For an even more hazard-free investment experience, some robo-advisors such as Sai offer REITs-based portfolio. I hope this video allows you to understand better the three ways to start your property investment journey. If you are still unsure or keen to explore this passive income journey, do not hesitate to drop me a call. Let's take a deep dive into what else to take note of when you are investing, such as your credit scores, down payment, or even goal setting for rental incomes. I am more than happy to share with you. With that, stay tuned to the next episode of Asset Progression with Lionel Leong. See you then!